Hey, yo, Ren, turn that up. I just been staring at the star. Uh, um. All right, what's good, YouTube? It's... <laughs> what's good, YouTube? It's Nathan Xavier. I'm gonna give you guys an in-depth tutorial on how to how I do my finger coils. As you can see on the screen now, like, you know, my coils, my coils fire, my coils a little fire. That was the most light-skinned shit I have ever seen. The things that you will need. All right, let's get started with this tutorial. First things first, you want to get your rat tail comb and start sectioning off your hair. After each section is created, you want to use a hair tie and tie your hair around that section. I like to do my sections in fives, so there's two in the front and three in the back, but it's all up to you on how you want to section off your hair. Take a section out the hair tie and start applying water and then going in with king curls right after, making sure that every strand gets some moisture in it. Make sure you detangle and rake through with your fingers, starting at the ends and going into the roots. I like to use Jamaican black castor oil to lock in the moisture and I smear it through, once again making sure that each strand is moisturized. I then section off my hair again, making the coils the size I want them to be. You don't want to make the coils too small because we are going to separate them more when they are dry and you don't want to make the coils too big to a point where they can't hold. Alright so for the coiling process, you're basically making like a big circle with your finger. When you do your coils, you go toward the middle of your hair. So in this motion you can see I'm going counterclockwise. You basically repeat this entire process throughout this section and the other section that's also on this side. It gets a little different when you move on to the other side. My coils right now do look a little loose, but that's only because my hair is wet. As my hair continues to air dry, the coils do solidify and become tighter. So if you run into that problem as well, don't worry, don't panic. Just give it some time for your hair to dry and your coils will look fine. So now that we're on the other side, as you can see, I'm not going in a counterclockwise motion. Rather, I am going in a clockwise motion, which is going towards the middle part of my hair. Something to keep in mind when doing your coils is that you want to gently start at the roots and work your finger down toward the ends of your hair. This is to make sure you're not pulling out hair and your coils will come out a lot more tight. After you finish your coils, you can choose to either diffuse or air dry. I personally prefer air dry, and this is how my hair looked the next day. The fuck, man? <laughs> I know it's looking real rough right now, but after I separate these coils, it won't look like that no more. I promise, I promise. I go back in with a little bit more of some Jamaican black castor oil just to make the process of separating the coils a little more easy. After I start separating the coils, I recoil them again, going in the same direction I originally coiled them in. So the side with the patch, I go counterclockwise, and the side without the patch, I go clockwise. I like to separate my coils into threes or fours, depending on how big the original coil was, but it's all up to you on how you want to separate your coils. After I finish a section, I like to tie it up in a hair tie just so I don't get confused on which coils have been separated and haven't been separated. After I finish each coil, I like to put them into that hair tie as well. So I just finished half of my head. I rake through my hair so that the coils are untangled and they're not intertwining with one another. Moving on to the other side of my hair, you have to remember that these coils were coiled in a clockwise direction. The ones on the other side were counterclockwise. You don't want to mix these up because your coils can deform if you coil them the opposite direction. When separating and recoiling, you gotta remember that your hair is not wet right now. When your hair is dry and recoiling, it's more prone to pull out hair in a harmful way, so you gotta be careful.
All right, now that this side is also finished, you're gonna rake through it, just making sure that the coils aren't tangled again and just separate them to your liking before taking out the other side and doing the exact same thing. The thing I do to get rid of the middle part from being visible is just grab coils from either side and just lay it on top of it and it'll naturally just stay like that. To give my hair a little bit more volume so my head doesn't look too flat on the sides and the back, I like to go in with a pick and just pick out the roots. I don't like to pull all the way through because it ruins the coils. As you can see now, my hair does not look flat from the sides, it has some volume. Give your hair a little shake to make sure. Over time, your coils will mature and the parts will be less and less visible. So as you can see, my coils are in my face and I can't really see. So a few hairstyles that you could do in order to prevent that is like a little pineapple in the front and leaving all the hair down. As you'll see, I wasn't really rocking with this. It didn't really sit right with me. But my go-to hairstyle is this side ponytail. I know that half of my hair is still in my face, but I can still see. You feel me? But most of the time, I just like to rock my hair down. I know I can't really see, but you get used to it anyways. Alright, so it's been around two weeks. These are how my coils matured. I combined a few because some of them were really, really small and I wasn't really messing with it. Sprayed a little bit of water, a little bit of king curls as well and just combined them. You can't really see any of the parts, which which is what, which is why I mess with these. God damn, I'm sorry. Yeah, y'all, thank y'all for... Damn, like, damn! <laughs> yeah, that's my finger coil tutorial routine, you know, in the mix of that. Make sure y'all like comment, share, subscribe. Appreciate all the support. Definitely gonna be coming with more tutorials. For sure, for sure. Yeah, I'll see y'all next time.